Hi there, how are you doing? Are you good? Great. Got a bunch of videos to check out this time around. Let's take a look and see what craziness I've been sent. And here we have the first one. Roto RB 1592, down in AVPA1, and left and right to run that. Ah, this guy again. Now, Focal 46KX4. Well, I'm glad this time you get to see a bit more of your system. Now this is what I like to see by the way is that toilet paper on the floor. And the next one we've got is this. No idea what speaker it is, doesn't really matter that much. But the camera, if it's in automatic mode, the light right there is going to help the camera increase its shutter speed automatically. That way we see more movement from the speaker. And the speaker is definitely moving. Nice. That is what we want to see. Though, maybe not so much with free air speakers. And the next one we've got is this 12 inch JBL. All right, so I'm gonna low pass this a little bit. Looks as though it has a reasonable amount of movement, which is good to see. Uh, we might also be in the UK, not too sure. Uh, the next one we've got is this, and he's playing El Temblor. So yeah, we don't really see the subs in this. We sort of see one of them. But that is basically this guy's setup. Looks like it does a good job. Is this a scar subwoofer? No. I'm not sure what this is, but it's moving. Ah, FI audio, nice, nice, classic. Basically the same as my SMD. idea what that thing is kind of looks like a dinosaur oh yeah by the way you get 10 points and here we have another one from the same guy in the previous video so yeah that's definitely an interesting looking box you've got there And the next one we've got has been sent to me by DJ Sam. He sent me a few videos in the past. Alright, so we have some slightly strange sounds and... Uh, well, that speaker at the top is really going crazy. But there's a lot of movement. And 
the next one we've got is this. Right, so I'm going to load past this. Don't think I've seen one of these before. Alright, so far, hmm, a bit meh. Let's see how it is on the lows. Alright, a little better. Not that much of a difference. Ah, we have towers that are also moving. Nice. And the next one. Now, if you've got a car audio setup, I'm willing to show just about any car audio setup, so don't be afraid of sending me a video. Even if it does end up in a fail, it's still a win. And the next one we've got is this. Ah, so it's a SCAR subwoofer. Playing the same track. Nice. Let's see what it's like on the lows. Nice and bouncy. All right, looks like you're in a bit of a tight space. Wow, look at that screw. Imagine banging your head on that. Don't trip over in there wherever you are. All right, so here we have a Philips speaker from the 70s. Nice looking speaker, and it's got quite a bit of movement actually, to be honest. Kind of surprised. Nice. Alright, so this video is nearly three minutes long. Let's skip forward 20 seconds. Nice, still doing the same thing. Ah, another track. I think this track was on one of the Stony mixes. Pretty sure it doesn't have a name. Nice. And the next one we've got is this. Sort of looks as though it's been recorded with a VHS camera. Looks like we've got a good amount of movement though. And the next one we've got is another kicker. Alright, so we started off with the lows. And there we have the kicks because the track hasn't properly started. Uh, this should really go in the fails because of the way you started the music. And here we have the higher frequencies. Though your sub does move so it's not going to go in the fails. Although it should because of the way you started the music. And the next one I believe is an American Bass Hawk 10 inch. Nice name for a sub. American Bass Hawk. So quite a bit of movement, which is good. Would have been better if it wasn't inverted, but that's all good. I like the colour of it. Yeah. And here we have the next 
favor. These look as though they're probably close to their limits. Not bad at all. They look like they're fairly decent speakers for what they are. Alright, the next one we've got is this. So we have a big old pride sub. Turning up the bass. Seems like it moves quite a lot of air. What's it like on the lows? Ah. Doesn't really move that much on the lows. Then again, the box could be tuned low, which means the sub's not going to move that much with those frequencies. Either way, nice to see. And here we have the next one. Got a bit of free air going on. And... Pushing it to its limits, I see. This is what I like to see. Which is why I'm seeing it. And why you're seeing it. Now this is how you do a free air test. By the way, you get five points. Ah, the next one we've got going on. Right, so what is this? Not sure. Amplifier on the floor. Looks like maybe a power supply on the floor. And there we have the sub. Nice. Good job. Alright, so that's all I've got for you for now. If you want to send me a video, read the description. I'm still going through some of the videos that I've received, and I will catch you in the next one.